to feel lonely is it kind of leaves just an empty pit in your stomach and it gives you a lot of anxiety. Hi, I'm Sammy Vance. I'm 14 years old from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm the founder of Sammy's Buddy Bench Project. Second grade Sammy Vance was very quiet. Did not raise her hand much, did not engage in classroom discussions very much. Well, she has uh, you know, struggles just like any teenager does. Uh, there's you know, feelings of loneliness that she still has. And... I've been lonely myself and it's not a good feeling, so I didn't want others to feel that way. And I feel like just having people there by your side that can kind of relate and that want to be your friend is really good to help that. She had gone to a summer camp and came home and she said, Mom, I heard about a buddy bench. I need one for my school. But she came to me with just this big heart and I'm like, okay, she really wants this buddy bench. I don't know what it is, but we better figure it out. <laughs> so a buddy bench is a place for when someone is lonely, they can sit on the buddy bench and another person can come up to them and ask them to play and they can play together. And it's like a signal for people who are more shy like myself. They are kind of scared to go up to people and ask them to play. It's a signal for others to know that they are wanting a friend. She goes to a Title I school, so they don't have a lot of money and I knew they weren't going to put out $900 for a metal bench. They were trying to find a cheaper way to get buddy benches here at Haley and they found this company that happened to be in Evansville, Indiana, not too far away. The company makes benches out of plastic caps. What a good idea. Caps used to not be able to be recycled, so I like to call it a three-in-one where it helps the environment, helping friendships, and also helping bring the community close together while collecting the caps. And at that time, you needed 400 pounds of plastic caps and lids for one bench. And she needed two because there were two playgrounds and nobody was going to be lonely on her watch. Um, my mom helped to get the word out to the community and we got a lot of like local organizations to help us collect caps. What her father said was going to take a year or longer ended up they got enough for three benches in two months with the community's help. Seeing the benches that everyone helps to create, I think that's something that everyone could connect to because they help donate caps to it. The shy little girl that could barely utter a few words, her passion, her heart, she knew she needed to do it and so put herself out there. After we collected all the caps, we had extra caps that we donated to other schools to help get them started with the buddy benches. Uh, and then some stories that were picked up in the local news about her. She was able to get one of the large pharmacies to collect caps for her. Just from those initial three, I think now she's got about 300. 250 uh, to 300 around, uh, around the, world the United now. States and a few of them international. Eight-year-old Sammy would be surprised. I don't really know how it's gotten this far, honestly. One little act of kindness, um, you know, can, can spread and start to change the world in small ways. Uh, have any of you guys used the Buddy Bench? She's a role model, definitely. And I think she is for a lot of other kids, too. Sammy's my inspiration. She keeps me going every day coming to school. I don't think she realizes just how much she's impacted people. And as a mom, it's so cool to see. And I'm just so proud of her. <laughs>
she's helped kids around the world and it's pretty cool to have a sister like that. If you ever need a friend, go sit on a bench. <laughs> I think it's important for people to know that you don't have to do something big to make an impact. Um, my project started with one cap. It's a small amount of kindness that count. No matter the age, anyone can make a difference in the world.